thing. <sighs> That's funny. <coughs> Hi, Des. Hi, Anastasia. Or I should say Anastasia. Oh, Forget funny. it. You won that one. <laughs> I hate when this thing does this. <laughs> Okie dokie, I sure will. It went sideways instead of. Oh, for peace sake. Anyway, thank y'all for coming. <laughs> See, there's always bleepers with my show. <laughs> there's Shadow and there's Colby. Hey, Rebecca. All right, there we go. Hi, Rebecca. So. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up, y'all, if you haven't already. Hi, Lynn Church. Oh, my goodness. You know, between 11 and 11.30 always goes by fast. I have no idea why. I'm like, okay, I've got time. And next thing I look, it's like 11.15 or so. I'm like, wait a minute here. Jamie is helping Eddie outside, but listen in. Sweet. Hey, Jamie. Hi, Eddie. Hi. So I'm trying to get to my own thing in here, but I've got I got plenty of bots. I tell you that. Hi, Eddie. There we go. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. I know I to do the same thing. <laughs> so this week, um, I think an email, but I've got mail calls that I'm doing and posting and uploading and everything. Um, I did a sourdough. I'm going to show you all the starter. Hi, Ann. And I'm like, really, really? Wow. Oh, my goodness. I was like, you're kidding me. It really worked. <laughs> oh, he's making another planner box. Very cool. Sweet. You'll love those. In case you missed it, Ann just came in. Hi, Ann. So I'm going to try and make the sourdough bread today. And then I went to looking at recipes and everything. They're talking about it. You, know, you make the dough at night and let it rise and everything. And I was like, I don't have time for that. I'm like, I'm going to do it the way I just normally do bread. We'll see how it works out. And if not, you know, since now the starter does work, well, it'll work this time. But I can... Do the starter again, and we we'll go along again with the sourdough. But I was just like, "Ooh, I love it! It's, it just smells. It smells good." And I was like, "I was so surprised to see it rise like that." Because the last time I did, it, like five years ago, it just flopped. <laughs> you learned something. You must have learned something different from last time, or it just wasn't the right. You know, sometimes the right the starter is just not right. Yeah, it was the um, moon sprout. I had one her um, dehydrated starter, so I, she sent me that. So I had been wanting to do it, and then the Inquisitive Farm Wife she had a um, friend, Friendship Friday and sourdough type thing collab. So I was late posting that video, but um, that's why I start with the sourdough with that. Hi, Milton. Hey, Heather. So. That's what I'm going to do. And then um, I'm going to be cooking some chicken. They have roast. They fixed a, two roasts yesterday. One for yesterday's dinner and one for tonight's dinner. So I'm fixing me something else. And then, oh, the excitement we had was our neighbor, uh, not two doors down, three doors down, he got a car towed. <laughs> they had been after him for a long time about that car. And they went to go tow it I mean, back in January because it was cold and snow and everything on the ground. His tires were flat. So he really got him enough to air on his tire. He's supposed to have gone and get them fixed, but he didn't. So they were flat again. So it's like, can't help you no more. Yeah. You know, you help them once and then they don't want to do what they're supposed to be doing. It's like, you go on your own. Anyway, on your, 
grown adults and they work and everything. So she'll have been able to fix that, those tires. Yeah. I don't want to talk about tires. Yeah. I, know. I went to go get used ones and there was no used ones. So I had to spend an extra like hundred and something dollars for brand new ones. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Now that, yeah. When I lived in Missouri, um, and I didn't never, I bought new tires one time when I was in Virginia and it was because it was snowing and they went bald because of the always getting stuck. So I had bought the um, warranty on it, Sears. Took it to Sears in Missouri. Did you rotate the tires? I said, what difference does it make? Well, if you don't rotate your tires, you buy um, the warrant. We can't use the warranty. Valid. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't have a hill of beans about the warranty. So I never bought new tires ever again. Every vehicle I ever owned, I always bought used tires. I'm like, nope, no sense of forking that money into a warranty and then I can honor it. And I'm just going to take that money, save it up and buy used tires every so often. And they don't tell you that either. You know, they don't tell you all, all the uh, hidden uh, hidden information, you know. Exactly. Now, my daughter-in-law, she's a stickler. I'm telling you, I'm not the one that reads all that stuff. But she will. She will read every single word of a warranty, you name it. And I just look at her. And then she's a speed reader. And I don't know how in the world she does it. But I wish I could read like her. What the worst part is when the warranty is about this big. Even with your reading glasses, you can't see it, so you gotta take the magnifying glass out mm -hmm. to try to read it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She can read a 400, 500 page book in like two hours or so or whatever. It's like 100 pages an hour. I'm just like, how can you, can you please teach us how to do that? I did. I, I took it in middle school, I think. It was speed reading, middle or high school? I think it was middle school because. The school went up to ninth grade, so it was ninth grade at that time, and um, and it was dropping like the um the the short little letters, but I still couldn't keep up with some people that were speeding reading faster than me. I'm like, forget it. I'll just read the book. <laughs> if I can get into the book, I'll read it. If it's good, I will put it down when I'm ready to put it down. Exactly. I'm just like now. I've just gotten as I've gotten older. I just like I'll take my time reading because. I want to absorb it. I want to know what I'm reading. Yeah. You know, so. Ugh. Oh, I can read. I can read it and I'll forget it five minutes after I'm done reading it. So. Well, it depends on what I'm reading. <laughs> oh, no. It, it could be a great book because that's only certain authors I want, I read. But it doesn't matter. My, my brain doesn't retain it anymore. This is the oh, eighth one. Well, uh, I think I put it on right because I don't, can't put it on any other way. But um, Luann from Luann's Kitchen, she had her 100 subscriber giveaway. This is what yeah. I want. And she made this. That's really cute. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, wrong way. You got me oh, big wow. Yeah, you got me big <laughs> That's scary. Hi, Peter. All right. I don't know. I haven't done mainstream <laughs> like this. So I was just like, can I just push a button to see if that. All right. Anyway, here we go. That's cute. And it's got some pockets and it has this pocket. So Does it have a tie behind you or anything? No, that's got nothing no. to tie behind you. No, it has, you would think you would take the arms and go. You're supposed to somehow put it over your head. Oh, it, we're, okay. It's one of those, um, show the back side again. The back, the back side is open. Yeah, but put the strap straight up and down. There's a way it crosses over somehow where it becomes like a flap. Cross it. Cross it in the other way. It says as well. But you're supposed to be able to put your arms in and then stick it over your head. 
kind of like an overdress, kind of like a dress over your outfit. Well, see, that's what I thought, but I'm like, I can't get it to do. So right there, <laughs> you had it for a second where the cross was. And then you got to put your arms through where these. Not long oh, enough. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do it before you put your head in, woman. <laughs> I'll try that too. And then where the cross is, you put your head in. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. She didn't make it long enough. So I'm just like, let me just do it like this. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to put your head in, and the back it wraps around each other, so it closes in the back. Well, Anastasia have it. <laughs> yeah, have her try it on, see how it looks. I'll do it, and then when she comes back down. Oh, that's cool, Anne. She said, we went for a ride just outside our town. And everything was so green everywhere. I wish I could buy a piece of land there. Nothing's more beautiful than nature. I agree. Florida stinks for nature up here in northern Florida anyway. I want to go north again. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me get this. Just and old man King is here. Peter is here. Hey, Peter, how you doing? So, how much of a starter do you use? Hey, DJ. Hey, DJ. All right, now it says a third of a cup of a starter, it's three and a half cups of flour. One and a half, one and a third cup of, um. Right now she's cooking her chicken. <laughs> so I've got my three and a half cups of flour. I'll stick that in there. And it says one and a third cup of water. And then, and I've heard, I've read so many different things from a half a cup of starter, a two thirds cup of starter. So, we're just going to uh, wing it. <laughs> but, there you go. It looks so good. Your so notification probably, just came on for me. I, yeah, I know. 15 minutes after it started. <laughs> so I'm going to just use half of this. And then you can be able to grow it some more, right? To so it expands. Yes. I don't know. I might just use all of it and start all over fresh. That's going to be very sourdoughy. Yes, it is. My trick was I put it in the microwave. Not, and then heat the microwave up. Just put it in the microwave and then yep. kind of like it all the just the air circulate around it. That's a good thing I put this apron on. Yeah, I just like flour. You're in that flour pretty well, right? Yeah. Hi, Mona. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mona. Hi, uh, Eddie. Hey, Mona. Eddie came in as well. You are. I, t I told uh, my kids, be prepared. You better be awake after uh, one o'clock. We're calling their grandfather, my dad, that was singing happy birthday off key to him. <laughs> he turned 84 today. Awesome. All right. I hate when things get pushed back. Because I can't. Try it. 
trying to get the Pam. Oh, forget it. I shrunk. So when I stand on my tiptoes, I'm not as tall as I used to be. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, I've shrunk three quarters of an inch. I call my hey, seven and a half of pie. That works. There you go. I, use I, can't, I can't even use that because I'm, I'm right-handed. It'll hurt my shoulder trying to reach up. So I just call my son down. He's got the longest arms i ever known. For so long. Yeah. That's what I used to say when my son and I used to go grocery shopping before he, you know, we met his wife and everything. He would reach up. Yeah, for me. Yeah. And I was like, Verna just walked in the, in the door. Hey, Verna, how you doing? I had no idea she lives so close to me. That's <laughs> cool. She put the video up at the river. And I was like, you're close. That's pretty cool. Oh, you use a holy spoon. <laughs> yes. Oh, Get that one hole in the middle. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, she's in Franklin. Mm -hmm, that's the county I'm in. In Central Ohio. All right. So I'm gonna let this rise just a little bit. And then we'll bake it. Wash my hands. Lola, what are you doing over there? <laughs> it's funny. My daughter-in-law this morning, she goes, she comes down, she goes, she washes the dishes. The dishes on the left side of the sink are clean. I'm like, okay, just let them sit there and dry. I'll put them away later. Yeah. She goes, but they're in the sink. I said, I ain't nothing. I said, everybody's done seen the kitchen when it's like I'm cooking and everything. I said, it's a working kitchen. They expect it to see y'all stuff everywhere. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Go to a restaurant. See how clean that kitchen is while they're cooking and everything. It's not done until they close down because it's a working kitchen. Yeah. I worked at plenty of restaurants. Not as a cook, but as a waitress. Done my time in that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. No more. I was even a pizza delivery driver. And that's how that's when I got hurt the most. So I've done a little bit of everything here and there. But I think the best job I have is right now. Staying home, taking care of Anastasia, and having my YouTube channel and meeting everybody here and those watch who watch later. That is the best thing ever. Hi, Face the Ace. Bernie hey, Face, how are you doing? It's in the town of Franklin, that is Warren County. Oh, okay. I'm in Franklin County. I'm in Columbus. So I'm over here by um, 270 West and will be 70 West. Yeah, I have to think about that because, you know, the north, south, that was the only thing that got me when it got to when I was taking the firefighter um, um, test, the written test for firefighting and police was the directions. Because <laughs> I would have to sit and think north, south, east, and west. And I'm just like, and even when I've ever had a call now on, which way are you facing? I'm like, oh, that's a good question. I can tell you where I'm at, but whether it's north, south, east, or west, and I would have to look up at the sun to see which way it, the sun is to get the directions. And I'm just like, so when I was an EMT on the rescue squad, I had a, the, all the drivers that where I was at already knew the area because I was just like, 
I know we had to get here, here to the main parts and everything, but like the neighborhoods and everything, forget it. You know, so I always had somebody that, you know, they already knew the area. But I was like, yeah, when it comes to those tests, those north, south, east, and west, if I don't have a map in front of me, I'm like, I have to think about it. And then I was just, it was always those questions, like five questions. I'm like, really? So, but then again, you know, I look back. It just wasn't meant to be. I did security and I did EMS and everything as far as, and I did the pay side and I wasn't, I rather just volunteered. Pay side is too much political crap in it. <laughs> so I Yeah, teaching is what I like. You know, that's so funny because it's funny, not, not funny, haha, -ha, funny, ironic, because when I was six, I wanted to be a farmer. My dad said I couldn't do it because I couldn't handle it. And I'm like, yes, I could. When I was like eight or nine, I wanted to be a firefighter. My mom goes, girls aren't firefighters. So when I was about a few years later, here comes the fire department in the grocery store. We were grocery shopping. So it's a woman of firefighters. So girls can be firefighters. <laughs> my, uh, my cousin, my cousin Lillian, she did bodybuilding. She spoke, speaks okay. different languages. She became a firefighter and then a paramedic. Yeah. And now she's retired and she helps, um, she helps the captains of sailboats with navigation and sailing the boats while they got, while they're sleeping. She's doing that and traveling the world. She's been all over the place. Then she's been all over the place anyway on her own before that. So wow. but she sold her window. She's got, she lives in her RV right now. She's down in the Caribbean visiting their dad in St. Croix where she grew up. <clears throat> But yeah, she you know she was a firefighter, and she's like five one. Yeah, but she's got muscles. <laughs> exactly. And she's so still then I wanted to be a teacher for a long time, and so I was like, well, you know, that teacher part of me is still there, and I'm just like, and I feel like this is this is great. I can do everything, and I'm, I'm teaching about cooking dairy free. And I got and teaching about how to with food allergies, so mm. you know it's kind of like all old in one. You know, I'm sorry. I love I love the EMS world, medical and everything, and firefighting. And I um, uh, thank you, Lord. He took me out of those positions. I would not want to do it now. Mm -mm. Hey, Kevin. Word up. Tuber chat is here. Ooh, hey, Kevin. Colbert, Colbert um, um, Mark from, um, oh, my God, Corner Clubhouse. <laughs> yeah. team, well, again, I always get tongue tied. I don't know why. It's so easy. Remember to read the first word first, does not the last word. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, so I've got the made the sourdough, and I've got the rising <laughs> in the oven, and I was just wanting to heat the oven a little bit and actually kind of just like between trying to get from the kitchen to my table, my desk, takes as long for me to, for the oven to heat. So by the time I get there to sit there for a few seconds and everything, the oven went off and it heated up already. So what I did is just left it like, I turned it off, but stuck the pan in there for the dough to rise. So we'll see how it goes. You know, you know this is learning together right <laughs> what to do and what not to do and then um my son and the fixed the roast two rice they put in the roaster pan one for yesterday and one for today because they that's just easier on him because now they're on overtime all week so he doesn't have to worry about cooking tonight or anything else it's just already done they just got to heat it up and that's it so I'm cooking a chicken, two chicken breasts, one for my lunch and one for my dinner. And if I, you know, and then I was sitting here and I've noticed it myself. And I'm gonna ask y'all all this question when I real ask. Quick, real quick too, before you do that. Anne has a question. She goes, it might sound stupid, but she's got a question. All what right. is sourdough and how is it different from any other dough? Okay, sourdough uses, there's yeast in the air. 
all the time is what I've been told, what I've heard and what I've read and everything. So you just take the same amount of flour. It could be regular flour that some people use wheat, some people use rye, um, gluten-free, and you put the same amount of dough and same amount of water and you mix it together. Now I put mine in a, you can use a small jar, but I didn't because I knew mine was going to rise. But I used a coffee filter for the top because you want the air to get into it. So the air will make the dough rise. My dough, it was up to here. So I used, used more than half. But this you can feed again. So you can put the same amount of water and same amount of dough. Put it in here again and it will rise again. If you want to stop it from rising, um, you just stick it in the refrigerator. Now, my understanding, there's supposed to be, I want to say like film or something or another at the top. But um, I never saw any to where you like scoop, supposed to be scoop the top off or anything. Mine never did that. I used, um, was it King Arthur's? It was all purpose flour style, just regular flour. So I guess that's what the difference was or something. But I fed it for a week. And then um, I said, well, we'll do sourdough bread on Sunday. So I want to see how it turns out. <laughs> yeah. And then Milk and Honey said, um, Heather said, sourdough is a fermented dough you make from a starter. Good for gut health. And then Verna says she's got two pound, 13 ounce rabbit in the slow cooker right now. Ooh, I can't have rabbit either. I looked up, alpha, when I looked up the alpha gal again, alpha gal, um, it's from a tick bite. And I've had it since 2017, which there's no beef, nothing from a cow, nothing from a pig, nothing that has four legs. So that, that includes rabbits and deer and uh, any other wild animal. I can have all the fowl, bird, chicken, duck, goose, whatever, and turkey I want, and fish. And I don't like fish. <laughs> it's so funny. They made shrimp. Um, I think this is the first time they made shrimp since I had my um, pacemaker. That's a in. shellfish. That's different than a fish. fish. Yeah, and I love shrimp and everything, but mm -mm. So I'm not a selfish I person. I was like, I cannot stomach it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think Michelle, I think Michelle is not my favorite. Vernon wants to know, have you tried whole wheat flour as a starter? Not yet. Um, I won't put that on the grocery list because I want to, well, we've got a big thing of flour. So once we get through that and work through that again, um, I'll probably change over to um, whole wheat or whatever. But talking about flour, I have something exciting to tell y'all. Oh. If y'all like, uh, if y'all go to my community tab, and I made a little video about and everything. I have affiliate links, and I've got King Arthur affiliate links. So if you go and you want to order online, click on the link. That will help you, that helps me, that helps them. They have different sales going on right now and everything. And I should, I think, yesterday. And if you just watch them because, um, let's see here. I think I added it to there. They have different sales at different times. So I was like, you know, this chick right here, I'm going to go use my own affiliate link and go shopping. Why not? <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, Sue, how you doing? So I've done a lot of things from fabric to seeds. There's tractor supply. There's yarn. Um, King Arthur flower and everything. And the reason why I did that is because... Our treasure home, we do a lot of things. And I just didn't want to be limited to, it'll limit y'all to just one certain thing that 
you know, some people, I have tried the Amazon affiliate link. That's never worked for me. I don't like how their program is run and everything. So, hey, Stephen and Jackie and uh, Salmon. Hey. I like Salmon, Eddie, but it has to be the pink can or this red can Salmon. I cannot eat <laughs> any other kind of Salmon. So, but my mom used to make Salmon cakes all the time. So, and I'm just like, I didn't want it just to be like, that's the Amazon fillet link that's never worked for me. So I have gone and I've gone through like, all right, well, we do we garden. So I did that. Um, I sew, uh, eat crochet, we cook and everything. So I'm still working on seeing about getting some sponsors to maybe some like cheese or something or another. So um, I have to. Uh, contact via life again because they never responded but you know there's more than just via life so that's what i've been working on also then i was trying to make a book sleeve the other day which should have taken only an hour was taking four hours and i was so frustrated by the time Des went live <laughs> i that sucker down i just took the fabric went i'm done with you <laughs> But I cut the fat, I cut it out big enough that if it happened to be a mistake or something, I can at least cut it down to another size of a book. So instead of a big book, I can, you know, be a small book or a medium book. It was just that I got the fusible fleece. It's supposed to be fusible, you know, you heat it up by the iron, fusible on either side and everything. That sucker, sucker would not stick to the fabric whatsoever. I was like, I'm done with this one. <laughs> I gotta put it to the side before I go back to it because I'll just rip it up. <laughs> or I just won't do it. So I just let it sit to the side for a little bit. Start work on something else. All right, what vitamins and minerals are great for you? I'm so ready to start planting. It's like, oh, and then I went to Menards to see about ordering. Don't ask me, Double Dog. I don't take any. Anything of anything. Twenty-seven dollars to ship one bag of soil. I think forget that. That's crazy. And the tractor supply wasn't even better, but I was just like, okay, I am going to call them and ask them because tractor supply, either one, but tractor supply is easier to get to than the Menards. But um, if you like, call for in order for a curbside pickup and everything, do they charge for that and all the other stuff? Because I was going to do it this week and I was going to ask my son if I when I order it, could he go by and pick it up? But I'm not going to do like 10 bags at one time either. But um, now that he's got to work overtime, it's going to be 3, 30, 4, almost 4 o'clock or so before he gets home. I'm like, oh no, I ain't doing that. And it's supposed to rain all week again. Oh boy. Hi, Bella's Whisper. Whisper. Hello. So I am trying something new. I am streaming to YouTube and to my Facebook because I is there something new I wanted to try out. So some people may be from Facebook. So welcome in and thank you for coming. And it rained all last week. I'm like, well, I couldn't get out there to do anything in the rain anyway. Well, I probably could, but it's cold and raining. Like, we I didn't go out in the snow when it was cold, like I like to. And I'm not going to sit out there in the cold and rain and try to put soil in the buckets. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, you don't do that. Catch a cold while you're at it. Uh-uh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday, rain. 50 and then 80% on Wednesday. Nothing Thursday, which we could do something then. And Friday, a 50% chance of rain. And Saturday and Sunday. So I'm hoping that this sometime this week to get the garden go going. Because um, I will do like rash radishes and stuff and turn stuff that can go um be done in like 30 days and have it and then my other ones are longer 
But I was just like, oh my goodness. All right, so let's see how this, oh, I didn't rise. My we got home. a lot of flooding around Tallahassee from the big storm that came through. Thankfully, my street drained pretty fast, which was unusual. But um, I saw parts of Tallahassee on the, on, um, on the uh, website for the newspaper or whatever. Or no, what was it? Next door neighbor or whatever. You, next door. It's an, a, an app for your community. Uh -huh. and people were being evacuated from their mobile homes. The seas were flooded. Cars were underwater. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy, crazy. And I'm like, here in Tallahassee? But then I realized there's this one area that I drive through, and it's a low area. And so they close off that whole area because it's between two waterways that are down low. So if it comes up too high, forget it. You can't get by. And then all the whole homes that are along that area, the, the, the they have it like this. And then the right. water usually goes through. Well, that fills up and comes across your lawn and goes to your house. So, yeah. So that area got hit pretty hard. A few areas like that. Okay. Well, I didn't rise, but we're going to bake it. <laughs> I'm just going to bake it. This, we're going to see how it turns out. I just hope it doesn't come out hard as a rock. You, you'll be doing this. <laughs> that means lots of gravy. <laughs> You're gonna have to put it in the micro and take it hey, apart Mom. and make it into, um, make it into what you might call it. Um, breadcrumbs. Yeah, sourdough breadcrumbs. Uh, so, so, the last few weeks and everything, and I have kept saying that every time I were uh, doing um, Cartoon Universe, and I'm sitting sideways, and I'm like, okay, something ain't right with this picture. And I'm like, I'm putting weight on. And I could feel it. And I was like, okay. I know y'all don't want to hurt my feelings or everything, but someone yell at me and say, Nancy, you're putting the weight back on. I don't put 20 pounds back on. And yes, I can see it in my face. I can feel it right yeah, here. I see, like, it, I oh, see no. it right here and on my fingers. Yeah. I'm like, uh uh. This I worked too hard and too long to get it down to 260. I am not putting, yeah, I weigh 260. That's because. My hip, I can't, no, no mobility thing of getting out and walking. So, but I'm just like, uh-uh. All right. It clicked this morning. You know exactly what to do. to have to get this weight off, and you can do it. So, my, I'm going to do the, um, okay, it's more of a uh, Yeah. All right. See you later. It's more low listening. carb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So no carbs for breakfast. So like if you want like bacon and eggs or if you um sausage, you know, stuff like that. And no carbs for lunch. That's why I have my chicken and everything. And there are a lot of vegetables that have no car low carbs in it. And then my dinner, I'll eat my regular dinner. So I'm just like but the thing is the snacking at nighttime, I think is what but we snack on popcorn. Popcorn with nothing on it is is good for you. Yeah. It's when you put the everything else on it that's not good for you. <laughs> exactly. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay. I so when I did this back in nineteen ninety nine, I had a um the guy that worked with me, my part timer from GNC, he was a fitness coach and everything. He says it takes three days for your body when you do it that way to switch from brain um cars for fuel to the fat that you have inside your body for fuel. So when you get that start, that starts and everything, then it starts driving up the engines to, in your body to burn up what you've already got stored in your body to use for energy. Because you get protein, carbs, and fats. That's how you get your energy. So I was like, and I lost, I went from 230 I was back down from 230 to one, between 150 and 160 in six months. But also, so here is the key. I walked 30 minutes before I ate breakfast in the morning. So now even though I can't walk in the morning like I want to, I'm still doing that. And you can have your coffee and everything else. And I'm just like, yep, yeah, you know what to do, Nancy, but I get back to it. <laughs> yeah. My thing is, I got to give up my creamer. I got to give up my bagels. 
I got to give up my bread because I don't bring anything to work. So then I have to order Jimmy John's and I don't like their, I don't like their sandwiches without the bread just wrapped in lettuce. Doesn't taste good to me. Right. Um, it's it's um, iceberg. So it's not even really a lettuce. It's a thing full of water. So it's like, yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to have that. And the only time I end up having a salad is when my daughter comes with me, she'll go to Whataburger and get me a Whataburger salad with um, no cheese and no tomatoes because it's got the apples, the um, cranberries, and then the grilled chicken. So I'll have that for my – but I got I eat a bagel every day for breakfast, every day, and I got to get rid of the bagels. I mean, if you, saw my, if you saw my bagel bag right now, there's like six packages of bagels. But that's for three people for like two weeks, you know, so yeah. just a week and a half. But it's just, I, I don't have time to cook in the morning. And two hard boiled eggs is not going to cut it for me till noon. Yeah. Time. Oh, I, I know. Cook. So I don't know. I got to figure it. I got to figure out something because I would like to lose some weight, but I can't bike. I can't walk, you know, so I have to figure, I have to figure out something. Oh, no, because I was like, well, you know, because back in January and everything, we were doing the uh, free the clutter and the freezer clean out and everything. And I was like trying to use up what we have, you know, put away is to refresh everything. And I think that's, you know, eating stuff I have stored away or whatever, the canned stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I was like. I was heartened. I just like, especially when I had the pacemaker put in, I'm like, I just had to eat what I had because I really, I couldn't lift this arm up like this for three weeks. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be so weird. And by, by the second week I was ready. I was like, okay, Mar March, come on around because I am so ready to start using my left hand, my left arm. And everything. And so um, I got to fix that because I got to some people. And then, um, you know, I, now my right leg, I've noticed when I go, and I'm not trying to get personal or anything, but to go get in the shower, my left, my right leg, I'm having a hard time lifting that up now. And I'm just like, oh, no, no. No, no, this is not gonna work. Yeah, yeah. See, Peter has at least three bagels a day. You know, yeah. I, <laughs> he's a New Yorker. You have to have, you know, your bagel. <laughs> your bagel is like same with me. I mean, I mean, we would have that all the time. But my problem is, I hate oatmeal. I just texture, yeah. cream of wheat, grits, the texture of that stuff. I just can't. Just like cottage cheese and yogurt. Oh yeah. It makes it, I mean, just talking about it makes me want to gag. And so it's like I can't even, and I'm just like, now what do I do? You know, stuff that's supposed to be good for you, and you and you try to close your eyes, you try to hibernate it with all sorts of crap in it, and it still like tastes like. I know. Oh, I've never liked cottage cheese. Forget it. Mm -mm. I don't but care. Too. Just saying that saying the name on these products. Is making like my inside is like, yeah. Like I just like get sick. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, what do you do? So now I've been like looking around for like paleo breakfasts because right. paleo is a caveman diet. So basically, if you can hunt and catch, and it's not and okay, hold on, paleo diet. What does it say here? Um. The idea behind the paleo diet is like a caveman ditching dairy, legumes, grains, and processed foods, instead feasting on lean meat, eggs, fish, and vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. But it's only certain nuts you can have. You can't have a peanut because that's a legume. So right. no beans, no peanuts. And of course, being Spanish, I like my black beans and rice. I like my red beans and rice, and that's stuff you can't have on the caveman diet. Um... And then let's see. Um, this might feel limited first thing in the morning. 
since most baked goods, oatmeal, cheesy omelets, granola are off the table. But here's still plenty of delicious dishes. So I'm looking to see for breakfast meals what there is. And there's some pretty cool things, but I don't have the time to cook that. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I leave the house at 7. It takes me like 35, 40 minutes just to get dressed. And it's not even put right. makeup on. I the hair through my, my, you know, and put some clothes on. So it's, <laughs> I don't have time for all that other stuff. So exactly. Like I, have to out, I have to figure out, like, what can you make ahead of time that you can, unfortunately, zap in the microwave, which is not good for you, and eat, you know, heat up to eat. And it's just like, there's nothing. I don't want to heat up steak. I want a fresh steak if I'm going to have steak and eggs or something, you know? So, yeah, there's nothing here for me. Exactly. That's why um, they got me some uh, the sausage links, uh, the turkey sausage links, um, not the whole. So I cut mm -hmm. up half of that, fixed some of that with some eggs this morning, and I um, put some onion in it, a cup of onion and everything. The onions are good for you, so that's what I have for breakfast. Because I was like, I'll cook this chicken, and I'll have one, but I'll probably, because um, I've got some cabbage, so like cabbage and like your zucchinis and squashes, they're low on carbs. And that's why yeah. I like, well, I don't know if I can take this negativity about cottage cheese. I might have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> hey Peter, you can have my share of cottage cheese. You can cheese. have my share too, Peter. Yeah, you can have my share. You can have all you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Same with you, Shadow. You guys can have our share of cottage cheese. Uh -huh. Welcome to it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> and I like it. I love cornbread, so that's why I like doing it. It's called a carbohydrate addict's diet. No carbs for breakfast, no carbs for lunch, and then for your dinner. So the first night you start dinner, so say you, you cook your dinner, but you start eating at 5.30. So from 5.30 to 6.30, you have whatever you want. And then each night, you notice that you're not eating as much for dinner, but you still you know, have that hour to eat whatever you want. So like tonight, since I've got the chicken done... I can cook some asparagus or and sweet potatoes or have my bread and I can have dessert within that hour if I want something like the snack or anything. And then when that hour is over with, you don't eat no more. That's done. Mm -hmm. And you do keep doing that. Now, when I was 14, I lost, um, when I was 14, 13, 13, 13, 14, I was 175 pounds and I lost 40 pounds. But also we were doing the Richard Simmons diet and his exercises. So that my mom did Weight Watchers. She did great on Weight Watchers, but as soon as she stopped eating that way, she would put the weight back on. And one of the most things I love is that cabbage soup that they make. But I can't use tomatoes in mine anymore but I can make a cabbage soup that has like green beans and onions and some other things in it that will work just the same. So I know how to lose the weight and I know you know it's just that when you can't exercise like you used to now my arm exercises I can do I'm gonna have to start doing those to strengthen my arms up. Yeah. It's like, I need to get the kids involved in it too, so that way I'm not doing it alone. Because I think if you have nice. other people doing it with you, exactly you know, in the household, then it's easier to continue on. You know, just keep on going. Like my aunt's like, oh, God, I wish you lived with me again because uh, you lived with me for six months or three months. Or, yeah, six months. We'll have you back down again. You know, down a lot more than where I'm right. at now, which I really need. But um. I'm like, I can't leave the kids here. You know, I'll be paying rent there and rent here. It's no way. It's no exactly. way. Exactly. It's that's why I want I want um she wants to sell her house and I want to go into a one floor house. I'm like, we need to find some place where we can have one floor, five bedroom, where you've got a space, I've got a space, the kids got a space, 
and we share the kitchen space, you know, and that way become like a multi generation, but we can all do paleo together. <laughs> because exactly. then, and then we take each other into account, you know. Mm -hmm. Or whatever it is. It's like, no, you can't have it. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. And then I heard about um, hey Mega yeah, Man. Um someone say a long time ago, um if you can't you don't buy it, don't bring it into the house or you can't have it. You know, so but I was like with you know our chocolate chips and everything, they're dairy free. It's not like it's like the regular chocolate, which we can't have. And even if Anastasia did outgrow, which I don't think she will, her dairy allergy, I still couldn't have it. I would still have to eat the dairy free stuff because yeah. of that chick bite. Yeah. My co yeah. Um, my cousin's wife had to go all raw food from her tick bite. Mm -hmm. It would make her definitely sick. So she ended up doing that. Welcome back, Stephen. She ended up doing that and she ended up doing yoga, like breathing techniques and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, and then she started feeling a lot better. She hadn't felt good in like many, many years. And so she, she I mean, she tried everything until she went raw food. And then she started feeling better again. She felt like a person again. But it's like raw food diets. I don't know if I can handle it. Well, it's all veggies, basically. Right. You know, fruit. But at the same time, where do you get your minerals and protein and stuff to keep you going, your iron, all that kind of stuff? Your beans. Your doesn't give you enough. Yeah, beans, beans are protein, you, like all your legumes. Your but it's all raw your, food. That's not raw. You have to cook it. Yeah. So <laughs> unless, a good, unless she takes a protein powder. Yeah. Maybe she but, was. I don't know. But. It it did her good though. I mean, she lost a lot of weight for one. Her how I mean, she wasn't super heavy, but she lost a lot of weight from it. And then she, her she started not feeling so tired anymore, and hurting everywhere was hurt. Like all of her joints, everything was hurting from um, the Lyme the Lyme uh, disease. She couldn't eat yeah. meats. And then once she went through that, and she went back, she was able to have just a little bit of meat. And she was like. Okay, I can have a little bit. I just can't have more than that. Right. You know, so it'd be like once a month or something like that. You'd have a little bit of meat, but it was all raw food. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Now, I've got um, celery in there and cucumbers. Let's see. And the cabbage. So the um, celery that the last one I just. Um, had I cut, uh, I left about that much at the bottom. I've got to set it in water so I can grow some celery myself. So, you know, just trying to save money here and there on the grocery bill for right now. So I was like, yeah, I could order stuff from Misfit Markets, but then after a while, you know, that gets it's expensive too. So they've got stuff that, you know, I mean, you've got different plans there, so that's not too bad. But I really want to grow. I've got flowers I want to grow. And um, I'm in some collabs, so I need to start growing <laughs> stuff. I'm, like, I'm kind of like falling behind. But like I, the last time I we Anastasia and I planted stuff back in 2020, 2019. Same thing. April, I got warm. I put things. I put direct sow and everything that was growing. And in May, we had a late frost and it killed a lot of stuff. So I had to start all over again. Oh my, like, this is ridiculous. So I was like, I, was, I didn't do anything in April because I've been watching the weather. And I was like, here it comes. Sure enough. Hey, oh, by the way, how are you doing? Is your chicken still cooking? Yeah, it's still cooking. You didn't flip it? Yeah, yeah. I did flip. They're huge pieces. These suckers are huge. I didn't bake it in the oven or something. I got the bread in the oven. I, I'm just cooking it on low. Okay. I'm like, I haven't seen you touch the chicken. I'm like, is it, is it yeah. still on? 
got the fucking. But these are huge, so I just like they just gotta cook. So, but um, you're talking about the protein. Let's see, that's if you did the no carbs for breakfast and none for lunch, you can still have your beans and rice and all for dinner. So that's what I, you know, that's what I'm gonna start doing. But yeah, I want to start. I mean, we got, I've got beans and corn I want to grow. I've done, um, I got herbs I want to grow, beets, turnips. I've got the, I've got like 22 different flowers I have seeds for. <laughs> like 15 to 16 different herbs. I want to grow, and I'm just like I was just like that. I was getting the seeds, and then I've been winning seeds and tomatoes and peppers, and all. And I, I definitely want to grow those because I love tomatoes, and I want to see if a homegrown tomato with an air, it's an heirloom seed does. Everybody says it does different, but my body's different. That causes inflammation. I want a homegrown tomato because I want to see. The difference and if it doesn't hurt me in like the next day or whatever then i know I, that's the way to go and i can have my tomatoes again mm-hmm. and then um I even, no, i'm not affiliate with them but it's called prairie let me get the name how am i not subscribed to steven's channel oh my gosh because youtube does Wood Prairie Family Farm, and they have organic potatoes, and they're sending out sweet potatoes now. I'm like, I can't do the sweet potatoes. I have no soil to sit there and put them in. But I was like, I, you know, if I get some more potatoes, not from the store, but from a farm, to grow potatoes and all, so I want to try that. And I love eggplants, and I'm like, I'm just crying because I was like, they <laughs> Because <laughs> I can eat the, a ton out of pepper. Because that's all low carbs. Your eggplants, your peppers, your onions, your celery, you know, your cabbage, and no, we don't all for you anyway. And I'm just gonna get back to growing and getting. I get this weight back off. I can't stand it. <laughs> I can see it in my face. Yeah. So I try to hide it, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's like people don't realize paprika is made with peppers. Paprika is a from the is made with peppers, and I'm like, I say I stuff all that stuff I want. And my son goes, so they'll start cooking something, and they go, "Can you have this?" It's like, all right, so we'll take. The, um, chicken parmesan they made last week. Can you have it? I'm like, it's not that I can't have it. It's a, and they got five red mill potato starch. So it's, you know, you know, it's best on the regular potato starch. It's not that I can't have it. I just can't have it every single day that you use potato starch on the chicken all the time because it increases my inflammation, which is bad enough as it is. But then for the next two days, I'm hurt and I can't move. <laughs> so I was like, oh, come on. I want my the good foods back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I mean, French fries, you name it. You know, and it's like, I miss having all that. But in a way, if it comes down, I don't hurt. Can, I'm you, just, have, can you have sweet potato fries? Oh, I love sweet potato fries. There yes. But Sheets doesn't have sweet potato fries. <laughs> I'll be getting yourself some sweet potato fries and have one side. Yeah, you've got your fries, I've got mine. Uh huh. And they're better for you. So, uh, Anastasia has um, the math state test this week, this oh. coming Friday. So it's like, uh, I'm on pins and needles. <laughs> but. Apparently she do. She said she did good, so we're gonna find when we get the results. But she said um, her mom was sitting up there waiting where the parents supposed to wait and everything. And some of the teachers came. One of the teachers came out 
and had to get this parent and said, you need to come help your son with um, writing, because they had to write an essay type thing. He only wrote two words, one sentence or two words or something, and he can't write no more. Right. So the parent had to go in there and help him. Which I didn't think they were allowed to let the parent go back there and help. Right. So I'm just like, oh my goodness. That's like, so now it's like, okay, Rebecca. So now they're doing the, like the school end projects and everything. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> So they've got one they're doing in, in the English class, and then they'll have another one. I, I didn't tell her mom yet because it's like, let's get them through this first one. Then we can do the next one. So, but they should be finished with all the lesson plans by the end of this month. So then it'll be just the projects that they're working on. So, hello. Want to come say hello to everybody? Hello to everybody. <laughs> Zoomed in. Zoomed out. I don't know. I can't wait to get Alright, we're going to try to see how this thing is going. Because I just put it in the love pan. I didn't have a... Um, I... We do have Dutch ovens, but I'm not lifting those things. They're too heavy. It still looks like it's still too doughy. Yeah, it's still a little doughy. So we'll leave it in there for a little bit longer. I know. All right, Heather, she needs to try on the apron. Tell Anastasia to come back in and try on the apron. Do what? Have Anastasia come back and try on oh. the apron. Hey, baby girl! <clears throat> and she walks away without a cane. For shame, Did for shame, for up? shame. We want to try the same one. When you tell me, I don't know if you heard me. Okay. It's a, it's a pretty cool one. All right, put your arm through. Put your arm through. Now, right here. And then put it over your head. The heck? <laughs> so that's how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to cross over in the back somehow. Somehow you have it crossed over the wrong way. But it's supposed to overlap in the back. <laughs> Tell me where some people can see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's somehow it didn't come across the right way in the back. It's supposed to X over in the back. Yes. She's supposed to have two two pieces in the back. <laughs> like I said, she can have I'll, I'll wear it that way and she can wear it the other way. She's going to claim it now. Yeah, I she, am. See you later. She figured out how to put the crossover in the back the right way. It's two mm -hmm. and it makes an X in the back. And then they overlap each other. Yeah. Um, let me see. Cross over apron show. <laughs> I'm looking for I'm looking for a way how it's supposed to, how, how it's supposed to put on it how you supposed to put it on mm. what are you making i'm cooking that sourdough bread just see if it will cook mm -hmm. and then um yeah and then my chicken what kind of chicken just regular chicken because y'all have rice for dinner oh what kind of chicken is that you use on it just garlic and Onion powder. Did you use rosemary or anything? No. Okay. That's all. Oh, that's my mix thing I made. Okay. Alrighty. Are you hungry? No. You're not hungry? 
All righty. Yes, she is. <laughs> I said she was asking about putting my chicken because she's hungry. Um, but all right, we're gonna go a little bit longer just to see if I can get the sourdough done. All right. Get the chicken out. Then I'm gonna cut off an onion. Oh, I do that. There's things over there. All right. I'm gonna show you all this chicken. This thing is huge. That's one crust. And here's the other one. Because these are things are huge. That's why I um, cooked them so long. Now I'm going to cook up an onion. And the Chicken juices. Thank you, Lou. Nice to see you here. Lulu's treasure trove is here. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, see, I'm going to send you a link um, on Facebook Messenger, and you can go there and see if they show how to put on that apron. Okay. <laughs> there's, some, there's some on how to sew, but there's also some on how to put it on. Yeah, I got the, um, because I was looking to sew an apron, and then um, Heather at uh, Milk and Honey Homestead, she did a live. She was showing how to sew an apron. I was like, yes. Yeah, I would love to get something like that for me because, but it comes up to here only because um, I'm like a big kid that needs an apron because I wear mm -hmm. everything when I eat. <laughs> Forget cooking, just when I eat. But they're so stinking cute. <laughs> oh, I know. It's like me. Even when I did lose all my weight, I still got food on me. I was like, okay, okay. So that, um, who knows? Yeah, I don't know how to sew. I can't even sew a straight line. I tried ninth grade and, face, and failed um, on that. It could be an apron, a, a bib, I know, but. You know, bibs are not big enough, Eddie. I need an apron that goes from like my neck to my toes. No matter how careful I am with the plate under my chin, I still dribble on me. So. I'm real bad. I don't know why either. I'm bad. My daughter's bad. My aunt's bad. My um, Somebody else doesn't. That's like us females cannot. We wear our we wear our food well. Even when we're cooking, we wear it well. Yeah, I did that the other night. The pink shirt that I have that has the V neck. Yeah, I sit there, and I had the bowl. I had the plate bowl right up here because it was you know spaghetti sauce and all that and everything. Sure enough, don't know how. It dripped on my shirt. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. I had it like this. I had my blue dress on like this one, like this green one. And I had my plate here because the kids made me a bagel, egg, and cheese sandwich for dinner and sausage on the side. I had it here because I knew that the egg yolk was runny because yeah. I like the egg yolk runny. I still managed to get it here and, over <laughs> here and down here. It was on my it was on my my um cord of my necklace. I'm like, 
I had a plane right here. How the heck did I tell you? I know, I know. I'm the same way. I was like, how in the world did that happen? Oh, Abby spoiled rotten. Well, I just had an idea. Let me see here. I don't put that. I would love to get a, cro a cross one, though, with big pockets. Like, I can put my hands in because I'm a pocket girl. <laughs> Jamie says, stop spoiling her, that, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see how this does. I'm just going to put it on the baking sheet. And then it's going to bake it like this. I want it where I have a, it's got more space in the back so you can put your head and arms in with a bad shoulder. I gotta figure out who can, and who my family can sew. <laughs> oh, now my grandmother passed away. There's nobody else in my family that can sew. Oh, yeah. Let's sit there and I'll look at the so I've got some ideas on like, with this being when they come in and change the filter month and everything i like having everything on top of my bed yeah to look through it then i got put it away and i was like oh we'll just wait so i'm trying to do little projects and that book sleeve it wasn't even the it's not the book sleeve itself it was the um Fleece. It was supposed to be a feasible fleece. Yeah, it ain't feasible yeah. at all. So, and I think what takes my, a lot of times is you go to research something, you get down a rabbit hole going from this website to the next website. Yeah. <laughs> it was like last night. I was watching, I've been watching my murder she wrote. DVDs. So it was about 5.30. You know, I made a quick dinner. I had a, um, a couple of noodles type thing that is vegan and it has no dairy in it and everything. So I fixed that and I fixed a um, can of mixed mm -hmm. vegetables, which had no potatoes. And I was like, okay, it, Three minutes in the microwave, that's done. You heat up the vegetables the same way. And I'm like, all right. Sit there. I was doing some things on the computer. I was doing something else. I was watching some videos. And something came on. And I looked over because I clicked on another tab. I'm like, how did I miss this person's live? It was at 6 o'clock. And I looked down, I'm like, it was 7.30. I'm like, I miss this Jamie. I said, how does 5.30, 7.30 go by so fast? <laughs> and I'm like, it's time for Andy go live. And I was like, she goes, the day has gone by fast. Like, yesterday did go by fast. Because I was like, I woke up at regular <laughs> About 8, 830, like on Saturday, so it's no school. And I'm just like, okay, you know, it's an easy day. Had my Bible study in the morning. We already finished about 1, 1 30. And I'm like, had all this stuff planned to do yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the day went. But it sure went it somewhere. Fast. So I cut up one of the chicken breasts, put it in, back in the pan with the onions, and then um, I was thinking about making a sauce. Um, so my sauce are like with mayonnaise and mustard, and I do a little bit of things with that because I don't use ketchup anymore. Well, not right now. So um, Heather has sit there has said. Uh, last week on a live that she was going to do another collab about um, dressing and I was just like oh yes because I have done 
I've made ranch dressing before, dairy-free ranch dressing. And I'm quite sure I have a video on that. And then I was like, <laughs> that's that sticking pan. I, um, I want to make a homemade Thousand Island dressing and a homemade Green Goddess dressing because those are my favorite. And I was like, I've got the avocados over there to make the Green Goddess. So I was like, I can make the video and just put it on private. And when she does a collab, I can just make it live. <laughs> you know? Or just wait, or wait until she you know, puts the collab together, and I was like, I could put, put it in there. But I was just like, I love that Green Goddess dressing, and I was like, and I've saved some relish to the size so I can make the Thousand Island because I have everything to make it, make it, and everything. Anastasia loves it. She does not know that relish is part of it because she likes pickles. She likes whole pickles. She likes sliced pickles. She likes uh, anything pickles, but except relish. Chopped and it's pickles. like it's just it's just chopped up pickles. <laughs> no, she don't. <sighs> oh, awesome, Heather. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> She's gonna put the get video together this week. Awesome, cause oh yeah. I will make some dressings. I saw, and I'm here lately, like yesterday, I made a salad. And I just took a little bit of olive oil, drizzled on there. And then I took some red wine vinegar and put it on there. Then I mixed it up together. So I'm mixing the red wine vinegar and the oil together. I just did it separately on the salad, then mixed it all up. And I seasoned it with, you know, garlic and onion powder. That's how they make it in the restaurant. If we go, how does the restaurant salads take so much butter to home? Because they put seasoning on it. On it. Yeah, Tom Garvey, he sat there and said that too on, on one of his videos or on a live. He goes, yeah, we always season the salads too. You know, salt and pepper a little bit, garlic here and there. And people think that's the best stuff ever. I'm like, yeah, because... You got this flavor still popping up the other flavors. Yep. So, and I love chickpeas and like a black bean. See, I love beans too. I just don't like navy, white navy beans, but I'll eat them if I have to. <laughs> well, my mom, they used to, um, like in the winter time, see, we, I remember we had cold winters too in Virginia. They put it in the crock pot in the morning by the time we got home from school and everything. It's all done. Had the ham hock in it and bits of ham and everything. And we, we I mean, that was our dinner. That's what we ate. But we loved it. And I was like, my brother used to put ketchup in his bowl. <laughs> we just look at him and go, hey, you're grass. But he later on said he couldn't do like the beans. So he put ketchup in it so he could eat it. <laughs> that was so funny. Because we would sit there and things we would do to doctor it up. So we just eat the beans. <laughs> well, I was like, oh. Yeah, but I have even have, I've made my own um, refried beans. Also, because I wanted to see if I could do it and how, you know, and with the different seasons, because you said when you get a can of refried beans from the store that has paprika and other stuff in it and everything else, and I'm just like, now I'm understanding why I always hurt basically all the time. And it wasn't because it was the fibromyalgia and it just, it makes that just feel worse. Yeah. So. No, it's just like, now I did get some books from Thrift Books. Um, one of them is a plant based, called Plant Based Diet or something other like that. And um, so I was looking through that. They've got some good recipes and everything that, I mean, it's stuff that I've already been doing. And I'm just like, I'm not willing to go over that threshold just yet to do all plant based. I still like my chicken. 
And I like, you know, my chicken and turkey sausage and turkey and everything. But if I have to, I mean, yeah, I have no issues doing it. Yeah. So, but I did think, yeah, when I figured out about the, um, by not eating the red meats and everything else, I did a Daniel fast for 30 days. And the first few days was difficult because I did no coffee also for those 30 days. Did the coffee make a difference? It really didn't make a difference whether I had coffee or if I didn't have coffee. My uh, energy level was still the same. So I knew it wasn't the caffeine because I was trying to figure out what things were going on. So I was like, me, coffee is just for the flavor. It has nothing to do. It doesn't keep me up. No coffee I get that you can make at home anywhere except for Wawa's or Sheets. It's the only two places I get coffee that keep that will wire me up. And we get the store. We got you know. We don't have the. Um, Less caffeine yeah. coffee. We got the strong caffeine coffee. And then you put the strong button on the coffee pot. Yeah, it still does nothing for me. <laughs> I can drink a cup of coffee, still go lay down, and take a nap. Because <laughs> I was like, and that's the, I've been like, that's been like that for years. I've been like that. And that's not just now. I mean, for the last 20 years or so, I've just drank coffee because I like the flavor of it. Right. Just didn't do anything. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at aprons. The crossover is from 5477 <laughs> plus shipping is another 30 bucks. $80 for an apron. I don't think so. Oh, no. You can... Go buy the fabric and the pattern sew. cheaper than that. I don't know how to sew a straight line. <laughs> I tried, like I said, I failed home up when it came to sewing. My uh my ex stepmother didn't teach me how to cook and sew and all that stuff. So Oh, I know. All right. I know it still looks doughy, but I don't think it is. I think it's just the way it looks. Let me see. Yep, yeah, it still is doughy. Woo! It's hot. All right. Oh, come on. I want to cut a piece off so I can show everybody. So, yeah, it's yeah, still, still, going. still going. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this off for a little bit. I'm going to let that rest. And then, because it's getting hot in here. And finish cooking it later. I might get my son or someone to bring my ninja out. Sail on the ninja and do it that way. And all. So, real quick. I want to take some mustard. And a little bit of mayo. And make a sauce in here. All right. And let's see. I'll we'll do it this way. I need to find over here. There's the That. 
so y'all can see this. So I just put it all in one pan. I'm just going to mix it up. And there's one pan dishes. You can. Oh, that smells good. I love mustard. You can add a little bit more seasoning to it that you want. And that heat helps make you know, like the sauce, the mustard and the mayonnaise kind of like melt a little bit. And there we go. There is lunch. Now, if you're not watching carbs or anything, you can put this over rice. You can put it in a wrap. You have make it like a tortilla type with the um, chips and everything. Oh, that smells so good. So we're going to take a bite and get a little bit of everything, which is just the onions and the, come on. So there we go, chicken and onions. All right, dinner's ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, lunch is ready. Y'all want some? It is good. Oh, my goodness. I'm kind of a little disappointed with the sourdough. But I think it tastes, I don't know, see, it's still kind of like doughy. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Mustard's been my favorite ever since I was a kid. So there we go. Let me call her down before we leave. Because she wants to say goodbye. When she gets her mama, can she come downstairs? Whew. All righty. And they were talking about, um, Oh, who are y'all talking about? Uh, no one. Yeah, he did Spider Man. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember. think of his name. I don't remember his name. You don't remember his name? All right. So we got to leave. I want to pray before we leave, okay? Okay. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day and the blessings of health, safety, provision, and protection. May your face shine upon us throughout this week and our hands be blessed in all that we do. We thank you that you keep us safe no matter where we go. And we thank you for those who are here and on panel and those who will watch later. That you just cover and protect them and bless them always. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, with that, we're going to go um, figure out about the sourdough bread. <laughs> You'll be seeing more. You will? That's trial yeah, and error. I don't hour. think more sourdough bread. <laughs> That's all right. Now I know how to make, make the starter. Can I make me a cheese salad, please? That's up to your mommy. I don't mind. So, Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day, and we'll see you next time on that treasure home. And, and the line is over. Goodbye. And Des goes live on Fridays. Bye, Des. Bye, Anastasia.